Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing Trend Micro and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 315 samples in total and we will be using these samples to see how well Trend Micro does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection here in Trend Micro and we will let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Let's first make sure that we are up to date and we are good to go. So at this point, let's go ahead and enable and we'll wait just a few minutes. It's been several minutes. Let's double check our samples folder and we are still at 315. It looks like everything's still there. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan. We will do a full scan and we will let this run until it's fully completed. All right, the scan has completed and it looks like we have a pop-up saying 29 was removed as well as 75 resolved. Let's check on details. And here is a list of everything. One thing I should note is I am just using the default settings. Let's double check our samples folder. 216 remaining, so at this point let's go ahead and scan directly. We'll let this run. Scan has completed and it found 19, but we also got a pop-up that 36 were detected. And so let's check on details. This is everything that was removed. Let's double check our samples folder again. We're down to 162. We are going to try one more scan just to see what happens. The third scan completed and it did find a few more results here. So we'll go ahead and check the details again. Now it does appear to be actively removing results. So we're going to let it sit here for just a few moments to see if it continues to remove these. Try and continue to remove multiple results. So I let it sit for just a while and it looks like it did find 84. Let's double check our samples folder. It looks like we are now down to 70. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and execute the remaining samples. After execution, we are down to 65 samples, and so at this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which did find 112 results. I'm going to go ahead and show them here because it did restart on me. You can see all the results here that it did find. After another restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back positive to results, so we'll go ahead and delete. So those are the results for this test. Please note that there were four samples that were not detected by MZSoft or Malwarebytes. These are recent samples, so please keep that in mind. And please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Results may vary in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions. And that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.